and welcome to another edition of What's News. I'm your host, Carl James Jr. Fast food chains like Taco Bell, Dunkin' Donuts, and Panera Bread are ditching ideas for drive throughs and mobile ordering. In an article by the restaurant business in 2022, they talked about Taco Bell debuting its newest prototype, which is called Defy. It is a two-story purple palace devoted almost entirely to the automobile. There's a kitchen on the second floor that delivers food to waiting cars below through a unique lift system. Inside, however, it does not have any seating. Numerous concepts, including traditional quick service chains and fast casual brands, are testing or planning prototypes that do not have any seats and devote most of their energy to the drive through The kinds of companies taking these steps include those traditionally known for large, dining-centric indoor palaces like Portillo's, which is getting strong early results from its drive through only location in Joliet, Illinois. The location is half the size of its traditional restaurant. Have you ever wondered who is the first living human? That's up next. Welcome back to What's News. In Ethiopia on November 24, 1974, the fossils of the oldest human ancestor, nicknamed Lucy, became one of the most significant discoveries in human biology history. She was the oldest recorded specimen to have a complete hominid skeleton, which has been around on Earth for over three million years. Because her skeleton was so complete, Lucy gave us an unprecedented picture of her kind. Some experts argued that Lucy was in some ways more adapted to walking upright than a modern human whose pelvis had to be compromised between biopedal locomotion and the ability to birth large brain babies. Others point out that her arms were longer than a modern human's and the bones of her fingers were curved features seen in tree-dwelling primates. How much she used her climbing abilities or whether they were simply evolutionary leftovers from aboriginal ancestors is a matter of debate. Lucy showed that human ancestors were up and walking around long before the earliest stone tools were made or brains got bigger and subsequent fossil finds of much earlier bipedal hominids have confirmed that conclusion. Bipedalism, it seems, was the first step towards becoming human. Next, we got Epic Games suing Google Play for unlawful monopoly tactics. That We'll be right after this break. Whoa, man, you just hit my car. Chill out, man. I didn't even hit your car. I'll show you chill out. That was a bit of an overreaction. In order to manage your anger better and make sure events like this don't happen to you, here are a few small pieces of advice that you can follow. Think before acting. Take deep breaths. By following just these two pieces of advice, we can all start to live much healthier, happier lives. Welcome back to What's News. The future of Google's App Store is at stake in a lawsuit by Fortnite publisher Epic Games. Epic sued Google in 2020 after a fight over in-app purchase fees, claiming the Android operating system Google Play Store constituted an unlawful monopoly. It wants Google to make using third-party app stores, side-loaded apps, and non-Google payment processors easier, while Google says its demands would damage Android's ability to offer a secure user experience and complete 
with Apple iOS. The case has had a long road to court, arriving there long after a similar trial against Apple in 2021. When Epic decided to take action against these respective taxes, it made August 13, 2020 a very busy day for Apple, Google, and Epic. First, Epic announced that it was bypassing Apple and Google App Store fees. It deployed a Hotflix update to Fortnite without either company's knowledge, letting you purchase V-Bucks directly through its own payment processing option at a discount. Apple and Google almost immediately reacted by kicking Fortnite off their app stores for breaking the rules. Epic was ready and waiting with two lawsuits and an attack ad depicting a Fortnite hero throwing a unicorn llama hammer into a giant screen reminiscent of Apple's famous 1984 Macintosh ad. It was striking publicly blitz followed by a slow moving court proceeding. While the Apple lawsuit went to court in 2021, the Google one was delayed again and again. It really came down for Apple trial in September and it was mostly decided in Apple's favor. Though both parties are waiting for the Supreme Court to potentially weigh in, up next, we have the Heritage High School marching band and a potential to take the lifetime trip to Rome. That will be after this short break. Welcome back to What's News. Heritage High School's marching band was invited to participate in the prestigious Rome New Year's Day Parade and Festival on January 1st, 2025. The event is integrated as an important part of the City of Rome's celebration of the New Year, according to organizers. It will be live streamed worldwide. The students and I are extremely excited and accepting this prestigious invitation to participate in the 2025 Rome New Year's Day Parade, said Heritage High Band Director Jameer Brown. To prepare for the performance, the band is practicing music and marching five days a week, according to Brown. The practice marching in the parade formation, marching and playing their instruments, learning new music and cardio exercises to build stamina. The Heritage Band and other invited musicians will have an immersive week in the eternal city that is Rome performing in the parade and practicing in a full educational program of visiting museums, historic sites, and places of architectural and artistic interest. The Rome Parade typically features thousands of performers from all corners of the globe, entertaining a street audience of around 250,000 people, according to organizers. It is the only such event officially recognized and partnered with the City of Rome and given permission to incorporate the most treasured areas of the ancient city, such as the Piazza del Popolo and the Spanish Steps. Students are fundraising for the trip with Krispy Kreme sales, double good popcorn sales, and donation pledge forms. Donations may be addressed to the Heritage High School Band and sent to the school address at 5800 Marshall Avenue, Newport News, Virginia, 23605. That's been all for this edition of What's News. I'm your host, Carl Daniels Jr., saying see you the next time.